Oh, man. F fuck, I was just... My, my phone, I don't know, didn't update. And it upgraded my version of voice memos. Where I record all my squirrely shit to myself. And so I was like, oh, yep. I'll go back and listen to all of them to see if I could check them up as podcasts. And, oh, f fuck me. What a torturous... <laughs> like... <sighs> I automatically noticed that it's better when I just pretend I'm talking. Like, the ones that I recorded just for me. Fuck, they make me laugh. What a crackhead I am. But I cannot... I could never post them. I just can't, I can't post them. Because I'm, you know, I'm talking about real shit in my life and saying names and talking about work. And boy, I've learned the hard way that that's not appropriate. <laughs> so how do I be vague but be real? I've also noticed that the new recordings have a very annoying tendency of like automatically labeling themselves with wherever I am and recording them so now I'm probably going to get confused as fuck I was at a hongi the other night I was talking to some dude making me laugh because I was saying how much I loved the term as fuck and how he started laughing and he was like yeah some unit measurement blah 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 as fuck <laughs> that car is ugly as fuck. <laughs> I shouldn't. I shouldn't say that. That guy's got a lovely car. <sighs> Why am I recording this? I don't even know. I just. I guess because rather than listen to shit from my past, I'd rather record something in the present. Because guess what? Some of those recordings hurt. <laughs> They fucking hurt. You know, I'm sitting there. I'm talking about... Uh, and this is a problem with me, right? Like, the same thing happened to me yesterday. I'm cleaning up my old Mac in anticipation of the new one coming tomorrow. And just trying to get my shit in order. And, I, and I'm moving my music files. And I'm like, oh, voice memos, what's in here? Oh, and it's shit. It's shit that I recorded, like, for my... God damn, it's hard not to say names. And also, this is why I get frustrated, because, fuck, I hate filtering. Like, that's the whole point of podcasts. I don't want to have to filter, but I can't say people's names, because I am, at the end of the day, a woman of some just, some integrity. It ain't right to fucking talk about people and put it on the internet. <laughs> So anyway, previous relationships, you know, I'm recording things for them or recording, like, things I've been learning and blah, 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 blah. And <laughs> fucking listening back to all the old voice memos in my, in my queue is, is kind of like playing Russian roulette with my emotions. <laughs> what am I going to say? How bad is it going to hurt? Because I don't even know that person anymore. Or when I do see them around, I say, Fuck them. <laughs> they hurt me. But isn't that life? Comings and goings. It is, but it doesn't make it any easier. And uh, it still hurts like a bitch. There's literally no point to what I'm saying other than yeah the very thing that helps me in the moment which is talking through my emotions and recording it because I probably have some some need to be heard <laughs> I know I have some need to be heard becomes uh, quite painful to listen to. <laughs> it makes me realize that I, I, I don't really intend to, to listen back to them. Like even my podcasts. 
I listen back to them once. Then I'm like, oh, yep, feel good about that. And chuck it up. And I never listen to it again. Because <laughs> isn't it all about the present? Isn't it all about just the here and now? And I'm getting these out. Really, it's it's just a way of fucking dealing with the snake pit. An article I haven't written yet, but is one of the many in my queue to write. But it's just how I process. Everybody's got a way of coping with their emotions, whether they realize it or not. And this is one of the ways that I cope. I need to talk shit out with the only person who truly understands me. Me. And to be fair, a lot of my fool's adventure has been about understanding myself. Because, you know, in the last couple of days I've really, really been reflecting on the layers of the major arcana. And the first layer is all about just getting to know yourself better. About your past self. How I've been conditioned and how the influence of my parents has has shaped who I am and reconciling that with my own innate spirit that I came in with that was not conditioned by this life that's a very few words to ex- to describe a year long uh, process of uh, sometimes sitting in my closet screaming and crying <laughs> Oh, because you find a lot of disturbing shit. I found a lot of disturbing shit. (sighs) But this is it. This is the fool's adventure. That's the fool's adventure. And that's how I cope. I talk it out. I've always been a talker. I've always said if I could get paid to talk, fuck, I would not have to worry about anything. (laughs) Uh, the money would keep flowing just like me. <laughs> the only part of political science that I found intriguing was the concept of a filibuster. Where, uh, you know, you basically get everybody to vote for you because they literally just want you to shut up. And you can be up there and talk about anything for as long as you possibly can. And I thought, fuck, I'd win. I'd win. I would win at that. I would be so fucking good at that. Just get up and talk shit until people give in. (laughs) I could so do that. And then I met somebody. I don't remember where it was or who the fuck it was. But said, yeah, I reckon life is like talking. You can't can't die if you keep talking. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, that resonates with me. I'll probably talk from the grave. (laughs) But it's how I cope. Everybody copes with their emotions. And that reminds me of another article that I'll I'll eventually write. This is like teasers. My podcasts are like teasers. (laughs) I say a little bit of of the huge ideas that I have. And there are many. And I've written, like, sentences and outlines for most of them. And I refer to it as the graveyard. (laughs) It's like the island of misfit toys. It's just the graveyard of unwritten blog articles, all these epic ideas I have when I run. And then half the time when I go back and review the list, I'm like, what the fuck was I talking about? (laughs) I don't even have any idea... What the hell I mean by that? <laughs> oh, which is fun too. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Something I said reminded me of an article, but fuck if I remember what it is now. <laughs> Castle? <laughs> so that's, that, that's that goldfish memory. Castle. Mountain. Here it's mountain. Mountain! Oh, look, there's a mountain. Oh, yeah, look, there's the mountain. There's a Pahutakata. Pahuda cow tree on the mountain. Now I am well and truly lost. I have no idea what I'm talking about. 
something about coping that started with the snake pit because we all deal with our emotions and the snake pit's about just writhing in the emotions. Um, yep, something else. I don't know. I have a million fucking articles that I want to write. And, and, you know, God willing, uh, I'll get the chance to write them. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, get amongst it. Getting to know myself. Getting to understand how I process my emotions. Oh, yep, there it is. There it is, I remember. I was actually talking to my best friend about this on Friday night. I, uh, I told her my theory, and she quite rightly said, it sounds like you're just trying to justify your odd behavior because you're a hippie. <laughs> and that sounds about right, because here's my idea. And she called me a hippie because it has something to do with chakras. I, I believe very strongly in the energy centers of our bodies. And um, when we have a thought, but we have pain in our heart or we're not grounded, meaning one of our other chakras are... No, in my brain, I'm actually seeing a picture of the chakras and they're kind of aligned along your spine. So if it helps, quickly go and look up chakras. Chakras. C-H-A-R-K-A-S. Um, and get this little visual and follow me for for a quick minute for a hot minute as my sister used to say um, so you have a thought right so it populates in your mind and if you're not grounded or you have pain in your heart chakra um, you can't ground the energy so you have a thought you can't ground the energy the emotion can't find its way to the ground like lightning and uh yeah like lightning it bursts out of your fucking throat chakra instead of so so what it looks like right I call it projectile vomiting my neuroses on people it's what I used to do it's kind of what I still do if I can't get a grip if I'm not grounded a thought appears like lightning in the mind so up near you know up in so it wants to get grounded You know, if I'm going to heal it myself, if I'm going to deal with the emotion myself, and I'm not talking about suppression, people. I'm talking about actually processing and dealing with the emotion. Uh, If I can't do that, if I'm not grounded or there's pain in my heart regarding the issue or regarding the thought that I seem to be having issues with, Um, instead of processing it, I shoot it out of my fucking throat chakra. I need to talk about it. Now there's healthy ways to talk about it. And then there's not so healthy ways to talk about it. So if all I do is, you know, speak my pain stories to everybody, my victim stories, my blah, 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 so-and-so hurt me, blah, blah, blah this happened to me and now my life is shit blah 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 I don't know think of any goddamn pain story there's lots of them hey yeah um yeah the thought that is painful see once again think feel do you think a thought you have an emotion And what I do about it is tell my pain story to a whole bunch of people over and over and over and over again because I can't process the emotion. (laughs) Because there's pain. There's pain associated with the thought. And instead of dealing with it myself, I fucking chuck it. I projectile vomit it onto everybody else, expecting them to heal it and they can't because it's not theirs it's not their emotion it's my emotion only I can heal it 
but uh, I can't because I don't know. I don't know how. So this helps me. I talk to myself, and probably because of other issues inside of me, like I'm conceited and vain. <laughs> I think that putting these as podcasts will help other people for God knows what fucking reason. Morning. And I do this as I walk down the street and say hi to people and they probably think I'm goddamn crazy. And they wouldn't be wrong. Because to be human is to be a little bit fucking nuts. But that's the adventure. It's all the adventure. <sighs> actually, now that I think about it, and this is why I like talking shit out with myself, because I say shit and I'm like, oh, yep, that's actually true. I didn't know it until I said it. But perhaps, just perhaps, let's just roll around with this, this theory. That's why I don't, well... There's a couple reasons I don't go back and listen to shit. One is because once I've talked it out, and I'm like this with journaling as well, once I have it written down, it helps me process. I'm like, oh, yep, there that goes. I wrote it out, I talked it out, and I'm I'm cool with it. Like, we're moving on. Moving on. It helps me let shit go. That's the healthy version. The not so healthy version. And the big sign is that you're that I repeat shit. So when I'm on repeater, it's because my mind is just coming up with the same pain thought over and over and over and over again. And I speak it, speak it, speak it. I tell my pain story. Oh my god. Back in the day, and it wasn't that long ago, and I still sometimes do this. You would know me for fa- if you were a stranger and you met Summer. You would hear all about how I've lost half my body weight. And you would know that story. And there was a period of time where you would have met Summer and you would have found out that she had a sister that died quite young. Or, you know, how my mom left when I was four years old. And now I have a deep-seated fear of abandonment. (laughs) I was super keen to tell all these people my pain and victim stories because I did not, or I would not, heal myself. Not Healing doesn't happen overnight, and it's not instantaneous. It's, it's a process. I, we are all healing. What are we healing from, Summer? Well, I'll tell you, from being human, because it's not fucking easy. I've said a lot of random shit. Uh, Hopefully some of it has uh, made some kind of sense. Otherwise, uh, hope it made you laugh and you're welcome.